Hello everyone, welcome back to Tactics Ogre Reborn. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here at the Lufa Coast. And today, what are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we could go do the Pirate's Graveyard, but unfortunately, I don't have a ton of time today, so I would rather do some actual battles. I would really, really like to get... Um, uh, Azelstan, but, uh, that would take a lot of time, and I don't think I have that much time today. Um, so I would rather just do, like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of actual battles rather than a bunch where I'm cutting stuff out. So, uh, why don't we just head over here to Grimsby? People walk from roof to roof in this strange fortress town with no roads. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Win with a knight in the battle party, win with an archer in the battle party, perform an action to restore an ally's HP. We have to have a knight, really? Alrighty. Ooh, how- hi, Lindel? You're a Fusilier. Welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Uh, okay. I like the idea of having you. There's also a bunch of- oh my god, it's you. Oh my god, it's you. Wh okay. Okay, I didn't expect to see- I saw all the dark- all the Templars, and I was like, oh, okay, and then, and then I noticed you, and I was like, oh. I thought you were just gonna be getting chased by all of these dorks, but no. Mm, okay, well, uh, I'm down for another person that uses guns. Um, so... Let's go ahead and get a look at everyone- ooh, Damascus leggings. Damascus leggings, huh? Wait, how do Damascus leggings exist in this world? Damascus is from the real world. Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and get a look at everything here. Alrighty, uh, I believe this is the squad I'm going to go with. Um, I don't actually have a knight in the party, because the only reward for the knight is 1100 XP, which doesn't super matter. Um, but I need an archer because I get strength charms, and I need, um, to heal someone because I get strength charms, but those are both very easy to do. Most of the enemies are water. Our guest is lightning because most of the enemies are water. So I have Cecina and RSL hanging out here. Um, and we have Uhuk, Latinos, Gildas, Murden. Um, so, yeah, we, we got, uh, we got the main squad in here. Since all the enemies, or not all the enemies, but most of the enemies are water, I don't have Holbrum or Surya in, so... Let go! Also, if you can't tell, um, I did just wake up. Like, I straight up rolled out of bed and was like, Tactics Ogre. Spit it out! Where's the salvage? It was bandits took it, I told you. You're a greater fool than I thought if you expect me to believe that. Well, not fool enough to cross you, my lord. I mean, I have to be to go selling your cargo out from under you. Oh, great father, who looks down upon us. This man lies to me. Yes, he was paid handsomely, but now he hides our own property from us. Felaha on high, have you no mercy in your benevolent heart for this poor, sinful lamb? What? You would have me pass judgment upon him? I see. Great father, though I am but a rough thing, a cast off from your design, this I do for you. Martin, you're such a weirdo. Just saying. Kill him! <laughs> the immediate voice change. Kill him! <laughs> Hold, Martin! Let him go. Stop right there! Oh, thank you, thank you, great paragon of righteousness, for showing up at the least opportune moment. Help! They mean to kill everyone who dove for that ship. Everyone! Your lips flap too freely. No matter. You can tell him all you want in hell. I kicked your ass before, friend. So, uh, I don't have high hopes for you. I do just have to vanquish Martim, so what I could do is not focus on fighting everyone else and just go straight for Martim, which, uh, is certainly an idea. At least you're kind of close to me, which is beneficial. So, we have that going for us. Yeah, Octavia's who I want to hit. There we go. Boom. 
All right. Uh, ooh, what would have been nice if I could put down a boon of swiftness on them from like the beginning of the battle, but unfortunately I cannot. Hmm. I can go ahead and get Denim down here and attack Tristan though. Hey, Tristan, how are you doing? Would you like to be stabbed in the back? There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Alrighty. Uh, Donalto, you actually got enough to drop the boon. So, go ahead and do that. Here you go, Lindel. You're faster. Now get over here. Away from the enemies, please. Can't have you dying, alright? Mostly away from Martin. Because, uh, Martin will probably super, super murder you. So, let's just go ahead and get everybody out here so they have other targets. Let's give them a target-rich environment. Come on. Uh, shoot Tristan in the back. No, don't... Don't run that way, you fool. I don't like it. I don't like that I don't... Please do not run over there. <sighs> Why you gotta do this to me? I mean, at least they don't do a ton of damage to you, but still, you're annoying. Uh, can hit you... Ooh, I can actually hit Dietrich as well. Yeah, let's hit you. You're the healer. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw you too. Okay, fine. Be that way. If you don't want to take an arrow into the stomach, then, you know, that's that's your prerogative. I can't really stop you. I mean, I would take an arrow into the stomach. I would not, but... If someone asked nicely, you know, I mean, maybe. Alright, Uhook. Go ahead and get in there and maul these people. And... RSL... You just get right over here. You can't reach the healer, no. Can't reach anyone of interest, really. Besides Tristan. You can reach Tristan. So Tristan, eat shit. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Owie. Good punch, Canopus. Just getting messed up all over the place and punching super, super hard. No, I don't stab a hook. Oh. Poor Uhu. Uhu doesn't deserve this. Uh, okay. Crit up? Yeah, I think crit up. And then, uh, more boulders at the healer. There we go. Luckily, Martin hasn't done anything yet, so we have that going for us. Martin is just kind of standing there. Uh, Murden. You move right here and whack this character. Never mind. They're really good at parrying. Oh my god. 513, Jesus. That's some damage. Okay. Uh, yes. That's fine with me. Uh, Sestina. Ooh. Can you? Yes, you can. Bye-bye, Octavia. Okay. Okay, the enemies are dropping like flies. That's what I want. Don't you... I hate you. I hate you. It's okay, though. Martin's still not doing anything for some reason. I don't know why you hit me, but whatever. Um... Nothing really to ease, just, uh... Bonk. There we go. Give me that. Good job, Donalto. Gildas. Um, where do I want you? Probably just right here, I guess. Go ahead and chuck mock this person. And Batarin. Uh, you can't reach the healer anymore. They ran away. Oh, wait, no. There, there's another one right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. There were two healers. Um, you don't have enough for a double shot, so we're just gonna have to do a regular shot. The healer ran in like an idiot. Alright. Continue having you just pelt Dietrich here. Good stuff. Gaia strike. Oh god, wait, what is... Oh jeez. Yeah, I forgot to, uh... I forgot to mention the, uh... Ooh, good stop. I forgot to mention the, um... 
the things uh, actually did for um, in preparation for the battle. My equipment didn't really need to be changed at all. Um, but you have a special spell. This this must be one of those. Yeah, that must be like a draconic. Indirect Draconic spell that calls upon greater Earth Spirits to distort gravity. Dealing heavy damage to multiple targets has a chance to inflict Earth Averse. My god. That's interesting. I've never seen a Draconic spell. I thought this was going to be a relic. But no, it's just a new type of magic. Draconic magic. Wild. Um, that character's turn is in for quite a bit, so... I think I'm going to move over here and attack immedia immediately. There we go. Ow. Uh, Denim... Probably just wants you to beat up Tristan over here. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, yep. Big stabbies. There we go. Meredith. Alright, Meredith, what are you gonna do? Owie. Uh, do you have an- Oh, you're one off from Brimstone Hail. Damn it all. That blows. Wow, I still have Deadshot level- Oh, oh, I have Deadshot 1 and 2 on you. I need to get the, the 3 for you, Canopus. Um, this will probably finish Tristan off, so... With the poison. Uh... Oh, damn it, you stupid idiot. Move. Um. Uh, whose turn's next? Is that you? Okay, you know what? Let's just, uh... Okay, it's you. Okay, that's all of them over there. Uh, I still don't have any heals on you. I really need to get that shit on you. Um. Let's hit Dietrich here. Boom. Big dead. Just want to confirm that kill there. Okay, we need to we need to heal our ally down there. That was a good time for a mother's blessing. Unfortunately, you didn't get what I needed. Uh, let's still just drop a major heal anyway. I would have rathered the better heal, but that's something. Meditate four. Uh, ah, oh, the stupid rampart. Um. Hmm. I would love to hit Meredith, but, uh, let's hit, um, both of them, all three of them with a crag fall. There we go. I really need that draconic magic on you, my god. Sharpshoot? What are you doing? Oh my god, you did two damage! Why'd you even bother? Why don't you shoot somebody else? Oh, you fool. Oh, you stupid, stupid fool. There you go. Take the HP. Now I've gotta I've gotta go back up here. Alright, Gildas. Um you have the you have the guardian thing, so you should get down there. You should get down there ASAP, so let's just go ahead and smack Joyce here. And then we'll get you down there and hopefully you can get that to proc occasionally. There we go. That's good. Um you can't... We, we need to get over here and take care of Addison, because Addison's in our back line. There's the stun, at least. Yeah, Addison's over here trying to annihilate our back line. Don't like that. How much damage will you do? Pretty good. Yeah, that's not awful. Um, I would like to try and get that poison on you, though. Wait, how are you hitting me from... How are you countering me? What? You have a sword. Does this thing have range one, area one? What? How are you hitting me? Back. What are you countering me with? I'm too far away. Oh. Oh, okay. It said... I'm not crazy, right? It said you were going to counter me with a 100% chance for 308? But I'm out of range, so I was confused. Odd. Um... Let's go ahead and get this, and let's drop another crag fall on them, pelting them with all the rocks. That's what you get for grouping up, idiots. 
Okay. Um, anybody else need heals? Sestina mostly. Yeah. Let's go ahead and drop that on you. At least we did get the poison on the boss. That'll make my life a little bit easier. Ow. Good whack, though. Uh, okay. Um... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get down there and get that auto skill, so we can maybe buff, uh, our beastie there. Um, you, I should be able to... No. Damn you, Shorpo. Uh, okay, just Petrodart, I guess. Patui. Damn. Would have been nice, but, uh... Eat it. Good crit. Um, okay, you have a longer... You have a longbow, though. Mm, I'll just barely know. We can still shoot the archer, I guess. Isn't there... Yeah, Meredith over here will take some pretty good damage. There we go. I could have... Ow. I could have double shot. I should have. I think I just barely had enough. Don't hit me with your book. Jeez. Um... You do have enough for a wind shot. How much damage would that do to one? Uh, how much damage would it do to you, idiots? 170. Yeah. Not really a whole lot of point. Let's just uh move over here and hit someone with a boulder. Probably. You know what? Let's just let's just corner you. Hey, idiot! Die. Ooh, that's good. Now, e cannabis. Acid rain. Okay, that's fine. Just don't hit the the unique character, please. Um, I don't want them to die. Our guest here. I'm not actually sure if they're unique. I'm mostly just saying unique is an actual adjective rather than the thing that the game refers to them as. Uh. Over here, and Crimson Reach. Yes, please. Boom. God, that's so good on Uhuk. <clears throat> it's absolutely amazing. Good shit. Canopus, uh, you can just leave this stupid idiot over here. And you can go shoot someone else. Like Jean over here. Or... You could drop... You could drop something pretty nice on these dorks. I do want to make sure I kill that character that has the Draconic magic. Um, just because... I mean, I don't think I would get it as a drop. I imagine it's probably the same as, like, the Wendigo magic and stuff. Um, I probably don't get it. Because it's too special. But maybe I do. It would be- it would be fantastic to get because it's specifically earth magic, so it would be amazing for Sherry. So I would love to have it. I just don't think I'll get it. Um, 84 to you. Who's the one with that magic? Let's- let's, let's beat up Jean here. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh... Major heal on both of you. Alright. Meditate, and let's get over here. Can I? Yes. Yes, I can. Bonk. Yeah, one of these had it. You. Rickman. Um. Uh, I'm gonna hit Sherry if I do that, so. Let's instead just... Actually, can I kill Rickman? If I crit... Damn. Oh well. Uh, everyone's doing fairly okay. Um, I can move like right here and heal both of us, which might be useful. The fight's honestly not going bad at all, especially considering how much higher level the enemies are than me. This is going wonderfully. Um, might let, uh,. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let one of my archers finish you off. I'm gonna go hit a little bit, uh, more annoying target here. Boom. There we go. Velocity shift. And can I kill you? Rapid strike. 
Almost does. Damn. Alright, well, we're getting there. I should never have crossed the waters. Damn it all, I really wish you would get to a better location. Okay, well, at least I know what I need to do. I just. I gotta heal him again. Stupid doofus. Um, I think Sestina has a heal. Yeah, just drop a stupid heal on him. God, you have more than half HP and the boss just walks up and one hits you. It's because you're weak to water currently, but still. Okay, we're just we're just gonna kill the stupid boss. Not dealing with you, Martin. And I don't wanna have to keep the stupid idiot alive. He's just gonna run around like a fool. Uh MP card. Let's see here. You're yeah. Let me kill Rickman there. Beautiful. And you 174. Cut a double shot. Probably should. Uh unless you just kill. Never mind, we'll just. Nah, let's let's go back and double shot it. It would it would be so much better. I can get this physical up even and we can probably kill with the double shot. Let's do it. And yes. Here we go. What? Oh, I don't think the double shot works if it's outside of your range. That's right. Damn. Uh yeah. Whatever. That's nearly a kill right there. Ow. Um, that's enough to kill Joyce. Damn you. Stupid parry. Uh, Jean's turn is coming up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill Jean here. Wonderful. Donato, heal yourself. You're gonna do a vigorous attack. That's fine with me. All right, Canopus, um... Yeah, our backline's getting really messed up here by these two. You exist. You're kind of beating up Canopus, but Canopus is tanky as all hell, so... Doesn't super matter. Oh, come on! Always with the parries, I swear. No, you know what? Carry this, idiot. Thank you. Carry this, casual. Boom. Alrighty, uh... We're pretty good here. Let's just heal Donato up just a little bit. And go get this. Alright, I'd say the battle is definitely under control at this point. Uh, we just gotta kinda move in on Martin. The rest of the enemies are too scattered about for me to care about actually chasing all of them down, so we'll just uh, kill these few and be good. Wow, cute. Adorable. Um, let's see here. 272 on Joyce. There we are. Loyalty card. Don't need that. Uh, Sestina, just go ahead and pick that up just to make sure we get it. That's good to me. Balderhelm, yeah, you didn't drop any of the stuff, unfortunately. Any of the cool stuff. But it's whatever. Can I repoison you? Nope, I can stun you, though. Well, at least we got to see what that looks like. Sorry you had to you had to take it, Sestina, but it's fine. 254. I have a lot of strength charms to use after this, my god. Uh, MP... Sure, take the MP, I guess. I mean, nothing else for you to do. Frigid Blast! First time I've ever seen that, I think. And... Yeah, just throw rocks at people until the fight's over with, I, don't, I guess. Eh. Yeah, oh, now you run away when the fight's basically over. 
my god. I'm very sick of your shit. Uh, the Heart Crusher Shadow Pin will be best here. Let's uh, go ahead and hit you with one of these. Smash like the Howling Gale. You'll all pay dearly for this one day. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and do your anime teleport away. Bye bye. Well, I got my Fusilier, and that's what matters. Although he did get bopped by the boss, I was like, oh, he's fine on nearly 600 HP. No, he was not. The Fusil. Beautiful. Very excited. And with an archer, from an action to restore an ally's HP, that's kind of impossible not to get in a battle. Unless you're just a god. Or just don't run healers. Thank you, good sir. I am Lindu of Belbard. No need to thank. It is our duty to repel the Dark Knights from this land. What was Martin about, anyway? What did he want of you? Ah. You ever heard of a weapon known as a fusil? Yep, Azelstan introduced me to him. I've seen one, yes. It was taken from a galley sunk in the waters not far from here. Neither Valeria nor Zenobia nor even Lodis possesses the means to make the fusils. They're all of them crafted in the land of Balbode, my homeland, across the waters to the south. They were to fetch a fine price, but our cargo was lost when our galley found it in a storm. It's gone beneath the waves. The Dark Knights led the effort to retrieve the fusils. All that had been gathered up till this past seven day had already gone to their keeping. Last night, bandits fell upon us and stole what we gathered since. Thus, Martin's wrath. Yeah. My fool's wrath. Killing me won't get back his fusils. Yeah, exactly. It would be interesting if, uh, from... Like, it, as we progress in the story, maybe they find another way to get fusils, and then the Dark Knights start carrying them? Not that such trivium would stop a man like Martin. With us here, your life will continue to be in danger. Oh, I was in danger long before you arrived. You see, fusils are a different breed of weapon than your common sword or bow. Take someone knowledgeable in the weapon's workings to wield it. Fusilier. Well, I'm the only one who remains, and they're afraid I'll join the resistance. Clever twist to fate's skein that they've driven me to you, eh? Yeah! If my choice is to work for their lot, or fight for Valeria's freedom, well, that's no choice at all. Besides, I doubt us meeting here was chance. What do you say? If you fight for Valeria, how can I refuse? That's the spirit. You'll not regret this. Hell yeah, we got a Fusilier. And I received a Fusilier's mark. Ooh. Lindell wants to join the party. We have Rimfire. And you and the Buccaneer are the only classes that can use them. Yep. And there we go. Cool. Uh, Mirage Strike. Let's see. Has a chance to inflict Stagger. Misstep. And silence! Silence is pretty good. Also, it does... Holy damage. Light elemental damage. Welcome! A Lindel. I like your look. Alright. So, uh, you can go ahead and get up here. Um, I'm... I don't remember what, fu what the Fusilier class actually looks like, but you might be like a semi-unique? Or you might be just be a straight-up unique. I'm not sure. Um, so, go ahead and get up here with, like, uh, these dorks. We can move Denalto up. I actually used Denalto more than, like, Fulkert and Bay in here. Alrighty, so, there you go. Welcome to the party. You're also very high level, which is nice. So, cool. We got ourselves, uh, one of, uh, the Fusiliers. Let's go ahead and check out the Warren Report, because, uh, I just want to make sure I keep an eye on this. Aha! Two new things. Valeria has a thriving sea trade, and many fortresses have been built to protect its port from enemies. During King Dorgalawa's reign, soldiers of the Kingdom of Valeria were garrisoned at each fortress, but since the kingdom's downfall, they have been manned sporadically at best. This has led to an increase in pirates, bandits, and army stragglers capturing the fortresses for their own use. Gecho Fortress on Benasunga fell into pirate hands just the other day. As Gecho is south of the prominent trading port of Grimsby, merchants there are anxious to see the pirates routed from the fortress as soon as possible. Ah, so that must be a follow-up, because I went to Grimsby. 
There have been multiple, or, or there have been a number of raids on caravans near the town of Grimsby on Leggett, known as a center for trade. Grimsby has long fended off bandits with the fortifications built around the town, but now raiders are said to attack from the sky. The bandits are believed to be camped in the Nimrahava Wood outside town. Okay, that's probably a new location to go to. Explore. Fusilier Lindel. Young warrior hailing from the southern continent of Balbode, who has trained in the use of fusils made there. Came close to the feet at the hands of the Dark Knight Martim at Grimsby, but was saved by Denim. He journeyed to Valeria to purvey the sophisticated weaponry of his homeland. The guns made there can inflict terrible damage, but require training to use as they are vastly different to more traditional weapons. Too elaborate to make in large quantities, they are sold for princely sums. Yes. And now I will be able to make some. Cool. So, yup, as I expected. Doe's famous Forest of Death. Much of the swampy wood is overgrown with poisonous mold. That sounds fantastic. And then over here is where we get to the Geho Fortress. Well, look at that. We're definitely filling in the map here. I would say this is about the last place I haven't been to, right? Well, there's this. Whatever this little fortification is. And then there's like a forest over here. But... We've been to most of the places on the map. There's another fort up here. These are probably these fortresses that they're talking about. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Alright, well, uh, we gotta go see what we can get for our new friend here. Go ahead and sell our, uh, our junk there. I do need more money. My god. Uh, so... Do we have fusils listed in here now, or...? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. They don't sell them at any of the shops. We have to craft them. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so... Rimfire. And then we have Commander's Gun, and a musket. Just a straight-up musket. Okay. Interesting. Wait, really? The Vices class can use it? Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, Buccaneers can only use the small, the, the handguns, but they can use two-handed guns. Very, very interesting. Um, well, I will say I am much more interested in having you use, like, an actual rifle. Uh, so, sure, you can go ahead and take that crossbows off there. Um, we'll move fusils over here. Okay, so, ooh, you have lobber. Quick draw. Until next turn, unit will preempt incoming melee attacks with attacks of its own. Does not tie apply to attacks from outside the unit's attack range. That's cool. Engulf. Increase the next range. Course correction. Range attacks with fusils to ignore obstacles and hit with 100% accuracy. That's interesting. I like engulfing quick draw, I think. Although, it's kind of hard to, to quick draw a rifle. Quick draw is more of like the, you know, the handgun right here. The Wild West. Uh, okay. Cool. We got that, and uh, I'm definitely gonna upgrade you. We do need more mending seats too. God, we need more of everything. We really do. There you go. Take a mending seat and the Blessing Stone. Good. Fantastic. Alrighty. And I can change someone into a Fusilier now if I, uh, if I so desired. But I don't know who I would change into one. Like, RSL, maybe? But... I don't know about that. I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll just keep you on the Fusilier for right now. You will be the sole unit that has unlocked the power of gun. So, let's go and craft you a new weapon, why don't we? Because I can make a musket. Yes. What do you say? You're missing something, you buy it from me. There we go. Come again. Good, good, good. So, let's go ahead and give this to you, Lindel. Enjoy your musket. And it doesn't appear that they can be upgraded. Two-handed equipment. There we go. Uh, I do need to give you some upgraded of these things, though. Um, there you go. Take some balder armor. Ooh, I need an upgraded Nomad's Bracers for you. Uh, you can take the chain leggings, I guess. And then, uh, I need to get you a different weapon, or a different ring. 
and we'll we'll upgrade you some Nomad's Bracers as well. I might not be able to afford to make uh, the rings, actually. That might be a little bit rough. I can sell some of this old stuff, like the Dirks and the Morning Stars and stuff. A Balder Hammer, a Butcher's Knife. Sure. Yeah, we can get rid of some of those things, and there we go. Now I have the money I need. Uh, okay, so... I need to upgrade you some Nomad Bracers. What do you say? One more of those, please. And... Then I just need to get you some upgraded armor, so like... Just give the word. Uh, Balder Helm... And... Brigandine... And, uh... You can't equip the Balder Leggings, and we already had access to Chain Leggings, so that's not needed. Uh, I do want to give you, um, the... I guess I want Dex on you, so Ring of Deafness. You sure? So let's make one of those, and then you let's sure? make one of these. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So, uh... Here you are, friend. We can, uh, probably just auto-equip you. There you go. Yeah, gave you the Nomad Bracers and everything. Alright, and here's your Ring of Deafness. Look at that, 968 ranged attack. That's crazy powerful. Alright, I'm very, very excited to use you, Lindel. Alright, so what do I want to do now? This, this recording's been going for 40 minutes, so I'm like, is there anything else I could do uh, anywhere? We've hit up the Warren Report, I've gotten that stuff. I don't know if I want to get into another battle. Um, maybe I'll go around and see if we run into anything. Well, I, there, there we go. Uh, I mentioned wanting to run into something. Here we are. What in the world? You're just a straight up lich. That's what I was about to say. I was like, I bet you're a lich, aren't you? Uh, okay. Um... Well, this is a battle where I'm going to want to kill you as soon as possible. <clears throat> this is absolutely one of those instances, huh? Just get up there and kill you, because... This is actually a living unit. A lot of these are, actually. Oh, these... Okay, there's not a lot of undead in this battle. You can summon undead, though, so I think I would still just run up and kill you as quickly as possible. Um, you don't have a lot of HP either, so yeah, this might be a fight we can do really quickly. Um, I'm just gonna basically going to charge up there and do a big murder. I also mentioned the fact that the Damascus um, stuff earlier. I was like, that can't exist in this world, but we've been seeing the Damascus swords this whole time, and also like, you know, the Zweihander exists, even though German doesn't, or shouldn't exist in this world. Um... Alrighty, there's nothing super crazy going on with their equipment. Um, you have another one of the, Dr the Draconic spells, Deluge. I'm imagining I get that from, like, the Palace of the Dead or something. That would make sense to me. And most of the enemies in here are water, so... Yeah, honestly, our current setup would probably be fine. Uh, Salvation. Divide the caster's MP among friendly units within two tiles if it is at 50% or more than max. Otherwise, absorb MP from surrounding units until the caster reaches max MP. Oh my god. That's nuts. It's an auto skill, too. Wow. Alrighty. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I think we can basically just go ahead and start here. Um, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out... Exercise an undead enemy and obtain a buff card. Um... So, I'm gonna swap out Batarin for Lindel. There we go. Looks good to me. And these two... Do you have your exercising? You do not. Um, so we do need to go ahead and put that on. So, get rid of these. You exorcism. There's not that many undead enemies, so I think I'll just leave it to Denalto. Like, I'm pretty sure, right? These dragons and stuff... Yeah, no, they're all living. The only thing that's undead are these and the Lich. So... Alrighty. Let's uh, just go ahead and hop into battle real quick. Like I said, I'm just gonna bum rush the boss, so this shouldn't take too long.
looking for something? You do well to leave while you still draw breath. Damn, your face doesn't look nice, but your your voice is sex. That's a nice voice. I like that voice. Or you may lose your life before finding what you seek. Okay. Annaberg. You have a you have a very nice voice. Can I have your voice? If I defeat you? Alright. Let's go ahead and get in here. Like I said, this shouldn't be too hard. It's a mage boss. And, you know, those are only really difficult if you're n trying to kill all of the other enemies in the battle. Which, uh, I am most definitely not. So, we are just gonna charge straight up there and do it to it. Canopus and Latinos, honestly, would probably... That's probably all we need. <clears throat> of course, um... Ye have we ever fought an undead boss? I was thinking of the other Necro Apprentices. They weren't undead, though. I don't know if we've ever fought a boss that's undead. Do I have to actually exercise them afterwards to win? Maybe? Like, it it's a lich. I mean, I, I don't think we've ever fought another undead boss. Like, specifically, the defeat this character to win the battle thing. I don't think we've ever had one that's undead. M might be misremembering? That's a pretty crazy ability. Just being able to draw MP like that. That's pretty nuts. Okay, you're gonna devour us. Absolutely. Uh, Lindel, you go ahead and get in there. Muskets have pretty good range, too. Yeah. Can it shoot outside its range is the question, and I imagine it, it, it does shoot in a straight line as well. Out of range. Okay, no, it can't shoot out of its range. Okay. Good to know. Very, very good to know. Alright, everybody. Let's make your way to the Lich. Preferably before it gets a ton of MP. That would be ideal. RSL, you just go over here and buff uh, your friend here. Good, good. Yeah, see? All the melee units and stuff are making their way down here. Uh, Latinos is just going to be able to fly right over him, and so is Canopus. Especially if you get the dash like that. Ooh, yeah. Alright, yeah, this won't be so bad. Um, physical up, but there's... No one for me to hit. Let's go. Okay, so now I just need to exercise an undead enemy, which I believe just gives me bonus XP, right? Yeah, we got the XP charms. I do need to use those uh, strength charms as well that I got. 239. Beautiful, you love to see it. Bang, yeah. I like having access to fusils finally. This is also the first time I've ever heard of firearms referred to as fusils. First time ever. It's interesting. I'm guessing it's an it's an older term. Something I'm not super familiar with. Cuz uh you're you're rocking a musket right now. I want a muzzle loader. You know? After you shoot it, you got to take 10 minutes to you know get that thing going again. Got to get the giant Q-tip out. Um, just hold off. Like I said, this should be a super fast fight once I get everybody up there. Getting everyone up there is going to be the real pain in the ass. And now that we've seen I can't get the Draconic items as a drop, uh, we, uh, should be good. Boom. And Denim. Go ahead and get in there. Winter. You the one with the crazy draconic magic? It was you. Well, they certainly look cool. I do like that. Big stabbies. And... I mean, RSL, sure, you can run over here and do this. Uh... Can't really do anything else, though. I'm not gonna have you punch the dragon. Don't think that would go very well for you. I am considering turning Uhuk into, like, a hoplite, just because 
of how crazy busted those classes are. God, if you could make Denim into a hoplite somehow, that would make him invincible. <laughs> he would be so good. Of course, Phalanx already does that, I suppose. Um, Alright. Go ahead and get in here, Canopus. Winter. Eat shit. Alright. Canopus is making his way up there. So are you. We're gonna- we're gonna get up there and mess him up. I should have, uh, Boon of Swiftness, uh, Canopus and, uh, Latinus. Dragon's Eye? Maybe I'll still be able to. Latinus isn't very far from, uh, Olivia here, so... Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and drop that. Boon of Swiftness. The Nalto still has it too, I believe. I took off Ease to give you Exorcism, yeah. Uh... Oop, I can reach Canopus. Okay. Alright, that'll probably make this a lot easier. Next question is, how hard do you hit? Okay, 508. That's not that bad. Uh, go ahead and move over here. Vulcan Lance. On the bell. There we are. Gildas. Can you hit from right here? Nope. Just wait. Murden. We got these stupid hoplites. This battle would take forever if I was not just bum rushing the boss. Uh. Sure, hit Oda. There we are. Okay, come on. I just need their turns to roll around again. That's all I require. Quick draw, McGraw. Yawn. Uh. Hit the. Yep. You hold that. You hold that musket one-handed. I would not recommend that. I would not recommend that at all. Thing probably has some kickback. Just a little bit. Put that shit into your shoulder. Um. Can't quite hit you to kill you. Would be nice, but actually, if I move like right here instead, I can. Goodbye. Okay, well, we got one kill. That isn't the boss. So at least we got something going for us. Who are you tremendously shooting? Okay, you know what? Fair. Um... Can't hit you. Damn it, this height difference. So annoying. Al Donalto. Okay, get up there. We... Alright, and I can't Blood Siphon you, I can throw a rock at you though, and I can Wind Shot you. Well, we're gonna Blood Siphon you in a second. You do not have a lot of HP, so this will not be super difficult. That's not gonna hit you, because it is considered a physical attack. Just stab. Ow. Don't you dare hit Canopus on the head. Canopus does not deserve this. Uh, Sestina, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Alright, Canopus. Um, go ahead and... Hit him with the best thing you got. Sure. Boom. Yeah, alright. So this is this is going to be taken care of in a uh, pretty good time here. Ooh, that breach is not friendly. I don't like that at all. 5 HP on Cherry. I could probably do this battle if I was, you know, doing it the regular way, but god, it would be such a pain in the ass. Several of these enemies are very, very annoying to deal with. Uh-huh. Let's, uh, heal Canopus off just to, just to be careful here. Guardian Force on Gildas. You still, God, them locking up the area with the rampart, I swear. Um, go ahead and hit him with that. Yep, you're, you're boned, friend. <clears throat> Unfortunately for you, I had flyers, so. That's fine, Olivia. That's fine. Word of 
pain, owie. Uh, not a whole lot for you to do. Yeah, let's just not waste time. Uh, just the kidney spike is enough to kill you. Okay, there's another kill. Uhuk can get up here and mess some people up. Maybe we could even get the kill? Yeah, Winter's the one with the uh, thing, right? Or it's the other one, isn't it? Yeah, no, you have the word of pain and stuff. You're the one with Deluge. Vega. Interesting that you're not using claws, Vega. Uh, let's just go ahead and smack you. Sistina. It's fine. You're gonna... Wow, you can actually hit Sherry from all the way up there, jeez. Color me surprised. Uh, can't quite hit you. Maybe if I'm up here? Ooh, I can just dark weight you. Yeah. Eat it. Good. Alright, quick draw. Well, we're about to find out if I have to, um, you know, uh, exercise you or not. I'm imagining I'm gonna have to. I'm trying to remember who all has the, the grimoire things. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, you don't have one. Well, let's find out if we have to exercise you. Imagining I do. I mastered time itself, but I could not stop my own time from coming. Oh. Nope. Okay, I don't have to exercise you. Cool. Later. It was nice knowing you. Bum, ba, 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 ba. I got 10 inferior ore and a fruit of the seraph. And we got the XP charms, which is what matters at the end of the day. There we go. Okay, so that was that was it, huh? That was uh that was all she wrote. Okay. Well, it was cool giving Lundell a shot, and uh we did do another one of the battles that are scattered around the map now, so. Alrighty, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn, and I'll see you next time for some more.